Good afternoon. Today, Army plays Navy on the General Electric College Bowl. The winner of this annual contest receives this silver trophy. Competing for this perpetuating award are these cadets and midshipmen from West Point and Annapolis. Midshipman Roy Wallace, Los Angeles, California. Midshipman Andy Sunberg, Tingsboro, Massachusetts. Midshipman Ted Warner, Dayton, Ohio. Midshipman Mike Corgan, Lawrence, Michigan. Cadet Jan Movar, Portland, Oregon. Cadet Dave Armstrong, Santa Rosa, California. Cadet Jim Ruth, Cameron, Missouri. Cadet Dave Riggs, Washington, D.C. <laughs> What famous 20th century novel opens with these enigmatic lines? River Run. Honey, okay. Malvar. Sir, that is James Joyce Finnegan Wake. Finnegan Wake, right for 10 points. All right, West Point. Sir Francis Bacon wrote in The Advancement of Learning, if a man will begin with certainties, he shall end in doubts. But if he will be content to begin with doubts, he shall end in certainties. Now for 20 points, Army. What 17th century Frenchman's philosophical method was he anticipating here? Your answer. Descartes. Descartes, right, who said he wanted to begin by resolving a doubt everything. All right, I have a 20-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. For 10 points, name the painter who painted Orchard in Bloom, Cypresses, the Potato Eaters. Army Riggs. Uh, Rembrandt, sir. No, five-point penalty. Repeat the entire question for Navy for 10 points. Name the painter who painted Orchard in Bloom, Cypresses, The Potato Eaters, and Starry Night. Navy, Sunburn. Van Gogh. Right, for ten points. Van Gogh, here's your bonus question. Navy. Three British monarchs who came to the throne this century were not sons who succeeded their fathers. Five points apiece for the first two you can name. Twenty points if you name all three. Captain speaks the team. Edward the Seventh. Elizabeth. George VI and Elizabeth. That's right for 20 points. Got all three of them. I have another 20-pointer coming up. Here's your toss-up. You men all know that Lieutenant Rowan succeeded in delivering a message to Garcia. Now, for 10 points, in what well-known literary work does Friar John fail to deliver Friar Lawrence's letter? Navy, Sunburn. Robin Hood, Tales of Robin Hood. No, can you take it on? I'm a Ruth. Sir, the soliloquy in the Spanish cluster. No, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. I have another 20-pointer coming up. Here's your toss-up for 10. What famous economist, economist married a battle... A ba oh. What famous economist married a ballet dancer, was created Baron of Tilton, and wrote a pamphlet entitled The Economic Consequences of Mr. Churchill. Navy, Corgan. Lord Keynes. Keynes or Keynes is right for 10 points. Here's your bonus, Navy. The, se the 17th century author of a work entitled A Few Sighs from Hell or The Groans of a Damned Soul has the same last name as a legendary hero of the American North Woods. For 20 points, what's the name? Bunyan. John Bunyan, Paul Bunyan. Bunyan's right for 20 points. I have another 20-pointer coming up. Here's your toss-up. According to the Bible, this phenomenon symbolizes God's covenant with man after the flood. Navy, Rainbow. Sunburn. What is it? Rainbow's the answer. Here's your bonus question, Navy. Saul. Saul, David, and Solomon were kings. For five points apiece, what were? Elijah, Samuel, and Amos. Prophets. Prophets. Right, five points. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, son, and grandson. No, patriarchs. James the Less, Andrew, and Bartholomew. Apostles. Apostles, Apostles is right for five points. Hail, frogs and darkness. Pestilences. Plagues and pestilences that and plagues. What is your answer? Pestilences and plagues. That hit Egypt. That hit All Egypt. right, plagues. Plagues on Egypt, right for five points. I have a 20-pointer coming up. Here's your toss-up for ten. Tell me, what Guy wrote Bellamy? Navy, Sunburn. Right for ten points. And that's it. Time's up. Game's over. We're going to validate the final score in a moment. We'll announce the winner and award the grants and present our Army-Navy Trophy Bowl. 95. Army 195. Army is the winner. For carrying home the honors today, Army will receive a $1,500 grant from the General Electric Company into Navy Goes, General Electric's $500 grant. And to all eight of you varsity scholars from the Army and the Navy, our congratulations on a game very well played. You know, of course, it's just a game in which we're putting the emphasis on a quick recall, a specific fact, and it is by no means a full measure of your academic accomplishment. 
You know, in our service academies, national awards for military accomplishments, seamanship, and athletics are expected, they're sought after, they're honored, and they're certainly not unusual. So the General Electric Company believes that it is especially appropriate during these critical times that both academies compete for this new perpetuating award, a college bowl, if you will, for victory in an academic competition. Now, in 1959 and 60, Navy won this bowl. This year, Army is the winner, and the names of the 1961 team will be suitably engraved in the back. The facing inscription reads, presented by the General Electric Company for academic accomplishments on the GE College Bowl, Army versus Navy. Gentlemen, congratulations. May we uh, expect to see you here this... ...enjoys beating Navy. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs>